report the customers, report the customers that aren't tipping you to DoorDash. Hey, Michelle, I hope the French toast tastes like crap. And I hope the lip liner, I hope it cuts you on the mouth. Welcome back to Mr. Bet on You. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you some real transparent things that's happened to me in the last couple days, how I reacted to them, and what you should not be doing, what kind of orders you should not be taking in 2024 and why, so you can protect your account. Let's get right into it. All right, so today is Monday, it's 2.19. I just dropped off, let's stay in the present moment before we go back. I just dropped off this order right here. To Michelle. I typed this in the message. Now, when I look at things, you can sometimes know if there's a tip or not, especially on stacked orders. If one's shopping, it's like, eh. But if the miles to money makes sense, it's like, well, let me let me take it because I don't want to assume. I don't want to be that guy. However, obviously, she went into DoorDash twice and typed 0.00. .00. Michelle from St. Louis, you are the scum of the earth. Now, let's go back to last Thursday. Kamisha, this is an order that I completed. A little bit more i think 12 is some change there was an item that they did not have at the dollar general she was not responsive in the chat i don't wait that long i give them about a minute or so and for a substitution if they don't have one she did not get some kind of uh, laundry detergent that they did not have and i wasn't going to get something else without her approving it so she decides to say this so that they're a miserable piece of crap i want them to feel that i'm petty i'm honest with y'all I share with you my day, the good, the bad, the ugly, like nobody else. I don't care if DoorDash sees this and deactivates me. I'm not saying anything in the in-app chat that is offensive, no cuss words. I never talk about a tip. I never use the word tip. Well, I, I might use the word tip, but I'm saying thank you for the generous tip, knowing that there's not a tip, but I'm not doing anything wrong. So I can't get deactivated. Listen, why am I sharing this with y'all? The in-app chat is always monitored. I do not recommend necessarily communicating at all but know that if you feel some type of way be careful don't ever question a customer don't tell them that they are miserable don't do it because you can't get deactivated for that and you can get bad ratings whatever kamisha from st louis that lives in a ratchet apartment you are a miserable human being these customers that expect us listen and what i'm saying here is if you even think that this customer might report you because the miserable customers on DoorDash that don't leave a tip, especially for two different places when you're doing shopping at one and they want you to run your errands on the low, low for the price of 0, 0.00 twice. They use their rotten little fingers to do that two different times. The kind of human being that does that is a piece of garbage. Point blank period. There are a few exceptions, but these two women are garbage. Listen, let's continue. These kind of orders, when you're dropping off and you see there's no tip, this is what you need to do. This is a game changer because it can possibly help you keep your account because those people will be the ones that say they didn't get their stuff because they're miserable pieces of garbage. Listen, you can report them to DoorDash and say, I think this person might try to defraud or scam me. Now that's, you can do that if you feel that to protect your account and just say, this per I have a feeling that this person might say they didn't get their order period. It was delivered. Please check the in-app for a picture or whatever you want to word it. If it's a hand to me, take a picture. When you get to that door, you say, hey, I got to take a picture from my app. If they give you any kind of smoke or problem with it, it's because they were probably going to do whatever. Say, hey, I got to take a picture. And you could say, say less. Don't say a lot. Don't tell them I think you're going to steal it. I think you might defraud me. Don't tell them that to their face because you don't want a confrontation. And you also don't want to give them an idea. However, people that type 0, 0.00 two times in the year 2024 are garbage human beings. I, Kamisha, Michelle, I said what I said. If I say thank you or you're the best, I am trolling you. I want you to know that you're a piece of garbage. That next time you have your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your mom, your aunt, your son, your daughter, your grandma, your titi, your best friend, you need to have somebody else run your errands for you, you broke piece of garbage. Report the customers, report the customers that aren't tipping you to DoorDash. You could call DoorDash, you can use the in-app chat, you can use the features. This customer might do, because people historically that try to get you in trouble 
and give you contract violations are the garbage individuals that don't leave tips. Point blank, period. These individuals don't deserve a service, an errand run. They don't deserve my respect as a human being. Point blank, period. Sometimes as a DoorDash driver, you guys can relate. You're gonna accept an order on face value. It might be 12 bucks for four miles. You're like, you know what, it's 2 p.m. Whatever, I just accepted a 10.75. It was like 150. And I said, hey, it ain't going off like hotcakes right now. So let's go ahead and make this cash flow. Two items at Walgreens, one little bag from First Watch. Hey, Michelle, I hope the French toast tastes like crap. And I hope the lip liner, I hope it cuts you on the mouth. And I'm not holding back. I mean everything that I say. I'm trying to give you guys information. And also when you see these stacked orders coming in, if you think there might be any kind of way that there's not a tip, there's gonna be an issue, because usually these customers always give issues, either don't accept it, if it's gonna make you feel some type of way, or when you do and you drop it off and you see that there's no tip on there, if they left a buck or two, let it be. If they typed zero, dot, zero, zero, once again, two different times, in the year 2024, it's 100 degrees in St. Louis. They are sitting on their comforter, futon, mattress, whatever, with the bomb bombs in their hand, eating, watching Jerry Springer, and we are running errands for these miserable pieces of garbage. I said it and I'll say it one more time. Michelle, Kamisha, you are a miserable human being. And for anybody that's a customer in the comments saying, well, Pedro, you didn't have to take it out. True. I, just because I did or didn't, I can still have an opinion. The same way these miserable Kamishas and Michelles of St. Louis, Missouri, yeah, I said your name. They can type 0.00, .00 collectively four times in an app and not respect us as the errand boys, the pizza boys, the delivery drivers, the hustlers, whatever you want to call yourselves, whatever they want to call us. If they want to look down on us and not respect us, read between the lines, Kamisha and Michelle. And DoorDash, if you see this, you can deactivate me. You can. I'm giving you permission. You guys got to clean your app up with these miserable customers that report us, try to get our livelihood taken away, and don't respect us enough to type 0.00, .00 twice for a shopping and a food delivery. Miserable people still exist in 2024. My message to y'all, I can give them my time because I'm talking for y'all. I got y'all's back. These customers, Kamisha and Michelle, could read between the lines a thousand times because they're garbage human beings and they are not our customer. They were just Walgreens, Dollar Generals, the New York Grill, and First Watch. And DoorDash's customers, they didn't pay me a dollar. So Kamisha, Michelle, and all the DoorDashers out there, we coming for you. We're gonna report you because I always feel, and I'm doing it because I feel this, this isn't a lie, that you guys are trying to defraud and scam. DoorDash and my fellow Dashers and possibly me. So I'll do everything I can to protect my account and let DoorDash know before you can report me and say, hey, I dropped this off. It got delivered. I feel like they might say something, but I want DoorDash, I want you to know I want it to be on record that if two minutes from now they say they didn't get their Walgreens or their first watch, they're lying. That can protect me. It can protect you. Now, I'm not saying you call DoorDash and you take up all their time. Use it in-app chat. There's a record of it. If you ever feel some type of way about a miserable customer that didn't tip you, let DoorDash know that, hey, this person might scam or defraud. There's nothing wrong with doing that. It's there for a reason. Now, you don't want to say that they said something they didn't say. They did something they didn't do. Be honest. And if you feel like there's an issue and you feel some kind of way in your gut about Michelle or Kamisha, report them. I'm telling you, you should to protect your account. Because what I don't want, Kamisha and Michelle, these miserable human beings, these women that are that are just scum of the earth, what I don't want them to do is get you fired, get you where you can't work your app. I don't want them to where you got to spend your extra time submitting us a report or a claim against a false uh, a contract violation. Get ahead of the curve, take you five set, take you five seconds to thirty seconds, report them in the app. I feel like this customer might do something to defraud me. Use the word might. I'm giving y'all permission. And Kamisha, Michelle, once again, maybe for the fourth or fifth time, I want you to read between the lines. You are sitting in that miserable, crappy apartment because you're a miserable human being and you're garbage. Kamisha, Michelle, if you see this video, let me know in the comments down below why you didn't tip and why you type 0.00, .00 twice. I'm petty. You want to be petty towards me and take the extra effort to not tip me? I'm going to call you out publicly on a video because you are a worthless, 
piece of human flesh. And a lot of y'all are like, woo, he's going in. I believe that. If you don't take care of the people taking care of you, you are a piece of garbage. I'm entitled to that opinion and that thought based on the years of my experience in the restaurant industry and four years in the gig economy. I know a good customer. When I see one, I know a bad customer when I see them. I treat my good customers with the utmost respect, give them the best customer service, and say thank you every time. So I will not treat Kamisha and Michelle in St. Louis, Missouri the same or better than Rhonda or Steven that tip me $10 today, respectfully each. Those two individuals are not the same kind of human being. Kamisha, continue to live in your crappy little apartment that smelled like cat piss, and Michelle, back at you. Next time, don't use the service. Don't ask, do a better job. Do a better job of, of not just having everybody just do whatever they want on this app and get all these services and put it on us as a driver to accept and decline. I feel better now. Don't accept trash. Protect your account by reporting customers that you feel might defraud or scam you. Use the word might there. Also, protect yourself. These customers clearly don't care about you and I. They clearly don't care when you type 0.00. You should not care about them at all. Protect yourself, protect your earnings, protect your account. Don't take those trash ones. If it doesn't look like there's a tip, don't take it. It's never worth it. I'll be out here doing DoorDash people's work to give you the latest and greatest, to entertain you, to give you relatable content, and to show you exactly what I do. Because I know I ain't the only one that when you deliver an order and there's zeros on there, I know I'm not the only one. Some people are like, ah, I don't care what it pays me. Baloney, because those customers are miserable garbage, and those are the ones that get us in trouble. Y'all tell me what you feel in the comments down below. And if you're a customer, justify why you don't tip in 2024, why you just can't go get it yourself. Take the bus. Have somebody else run your errand for you. We are not here to work for you for free. Michelle and Kamisha, I hope you have a rotten day. Peace.